What's going on YouTube? Welcome to another MLB Show 24 video. I know that you want to try to get XP in MLB The Show 24, and I'm going to help you guys out in today's video. We're going to show you guys how to get XP, and we're going to show you guys how to get free packs, because everyone loves free packs, especially no money spent. So if you enjoy these type of videos, subscribe, like the video, turn notifications on, and of course, leave a comment down below. Let me know what's your best diamond pull in MLB The Show 24. Okay, as you guys can see, I have 260,000 XP, which I think is pretty average. I've not hit the daily XP cap every time, and I'm known for getting XP, but XP this year is a grind. You either gotta grind XP or grind the game. I chose to grind the game, so we got Team Affinity done. We got a lot of the other pro we got the other program done. We've done all the conquest maps. We've done all of that. So we've grinded the game. Now we can need to play online to get some XP. Events, battle royale, ranked seasons have some XP. And then there is an unlimited XP method, but it is a very long grind every single time. But some people have gotten all the way to Trevor Story already. People have unlocked Trevor's story doing this. So it is very possible that you could have 500,000 XP right now or more and be on the way to Raleigh Fingers as well. But you're going to be grinding this all the time and not grind anything else. And so what are we talking about? We are talking about mini seasons, both mini seasons technically, but the main one is going to be the classic one, but definitely do Team Affinity mini seasons. It does have XP in it. You guys check it out. You, you'll see that yourself. It has XP in the XP route. Um, so for many seasons, these goals are not repeatable. These ones right here are not repeatable, but they give do give you, award you XP. When eight games, when 13, when 18, when 23, that gives you XP. That repeat that is one and done. Once it's done, you can no longer do it again. As you guys can see, go over here. Win three games, I got a thousand XP. Even if I restart my season. That goal is complete. You can no longer complete it. And when you restart the season, you keep however many wins you already have. So it does accumulate over seasons. So you don't have to do this in one season. And then the other one is the packs. You get five show packs for tallying 50 total bases. That is repeatable season. So if I restart this season, I can do that mission again, get five free packs. So that's the free pack method right there. That's one of the easier missions that you could do that's repeatable. There are a couple in here that is repeatable. And that is going to be accumulate 3,000 PXP with hitters. I have 1,400 over four games, so almost halfway there over four games. So about eight games will get you to this. That'll give you five show packs right there. Uh, 30 strikeouts gives you a ball impact. Nothing crazy from that one. Uh, tally 40 hits, you get a ball as a habit pack as well. And if you hit 20 home runs, you get a ball as a or five show packs. So. I got 13 and four games. I did play at home, so I only got two innings to work with there. So in eight innings, I got 13 home runs. Definitely could be better, especially if playing at Costco or creative stadiums. If you are home, those two innings could be crucial. But if you hit lineouts and stuff, that's unfortunate. But 20 home runs, you get five show packs. We have the 50 total bases gives you five show packs. And then the PXP gives you five show packs as well. So that's 15 show packs that you can earn roughly around seven or eight games in total is what you have to play because the PXP is going to take the longest. So I would say eight games, roughly where you will get 15 packs and then you could just restart your season. If you guys need help restarting your seasons, stay tuned to the end of this video. We'll cover restarting your season a little bit later in the video. But let's talk about make the playoffs. You earn 6,000 XP along with them stubs as well. So you can get earn some free stubs this way. You also earn 7,000 XP when you win the championship. So roughly that will take around 22 to 23 games. I would say 15 to 16 games to get you to the playoffs. And then you need to win six games to win the championship. So roughly around 21 to 23 games will win you a championship. The biggest thing about the XP on this is once you start the new season, these two XPs making the playoffs and winning the championship are repeatable. So you'll get 6,000 stubs and you'll also get 13,000 XP every time you do this. This is a grind, probably a two to three hour grind every single time. But if you did this four times a day, you're racking up 42, 52,000 XP per day. And I know you guys are already asking about the daily XP cap. This does not count towards the daily XP cap because it, this is program XP. The daily XP cap has to do with when you're in game and you finish an inning and that XP pops up in the top left. That's the XP from in game that is capped. 
Program XP is not capped. You can earn it as much. And many seasons, it is repeatable. So every time you make the playoffs and every time you win a championship in many seasons, you will get that 13,000 E in total. This is also in Team Affinity, but the XP in Team Affinity is not as good. So you definitely want to check that out. If you go to Team Affinity and go to play now, Oh, we do not have enough eligible players. Uh, well, if you guys want to fix that error, just restart your season and it, you have to edit your season and it will work. So we'll talk about that error in a little bit. I'm going to show you guys how to fix that as well. Anyways, if you guys want to restart right here, you hold A if you're on Xbox or you hold X if you're on PlayStation and it will restart that many. So if you press A to hold it, it'll restart. I'm not going to do it. I don't want to restart it. So here we are. We have four wins, four games. Like I said, well, technically we played five. We reset once, but 40 hits and I'll get my ball in pack. So hopefully this helps you guys out. If you guys are no money spent, want to grind XP, want to grind packs, want to grind some stubs because you get free stubs as well, making the playoffs and winning the championship. So, and when you win a championship the first time, you also get the Salvador Perez card. So Keep that in mind. You get this 88 overall Salvador Perez on top of 15 pack bundle every time you win the championship. So not just these packs, but you also get a 15 pack standard bundle. You guys win the championship. So if this video does help you out in any way, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. Turn notifications on. You guys get notified when every video goes live and I'll see you guys in the next one.